Hi, my name is Stu Pollard. I'm the president of Lunacy Productions, and today we are honoring our Kentucky roots at Lunacy and partnering with our friends here at the Wine Rack and uh, heading up to the New Rift Distillery in Newport, Kentucky to pick out a barrel of bourbon. I only recommend bourbons where I know the source. I'm looking for an overall very harmonious bourbon that has some pleasant characteristics that, that stand out. I think the great thing about going to pick your own single barrel is, is you pick your favorite. I mean, it doesn't get any better than picking from, say, 10 different barrels and say, I want that one. And at that point, it becomes the most exclusive whiskey in the world because it's yours. Jason, the guy is just a, he's a legend in the local scene on bourbon. You know, you're going to take Jason Bronner for a barrel pick, you know you're going with somebody who knows a thing or two about picking a barrel. I took Lunacy Productions, going with a group of folks that are looking at it from a little different angle and have such a great sense of humor is a blast, so we had a great time. When we host events, and we host quite a few, especially things like film festivals and premieres and, and rap parties, it's fun to have bourbon that we have a personal connection to. I'm Ben Soli. I've spent a lot of time at distilleries. I've played music in barrel houses, but I've not yet picked out a barrel. So I'm looking forward to going through the whole process, learning about how they are distilling, because every place is just a little bit different. As a musician, I felt a particular kinship to the idea of New Riff. You can see in the logo, there's that little sine wave. New Riff is one of the most exciting new distilleries in the state of Kentucky. They're all about full disclosure, so I think that is their new take or their new riff. It's refreshing. All right, and we're mobile. Well, new Riff welcomed us into their building and we went, uh, took a tour of their distillery. In there, they're making the bourbon in open batches. And they actually let us stick our fingers in and taste it. And it's pretty sour. And then we went into some of the new Rick houses, which are really unique. You'll notice right away that this is not a normal Rick house, right? These are stoves. Stoves are traditionally a Scottish way of aging whiskey. The bottling line is uh, able to bottle about 20, 25 bottles a minute. So we go to pick out the barrels, and they've got them arranged in this sort of uh, ritualistic stone hinge circular pattern. And they have a beautifully listed script with prose about each barrel describing all of the drizzled honey overtones and the oakiness and the cherry wine and all of these different things. I mean, very poetic. Yeah, cornbread, you gotta have that cornbread in there. There's a, a group of about 30 words that people like to use, leather, toffee, definitely some vanilla. You could put them on the sides of dice and, and you know roll them out and probably describe a lot of different uh, bourbons, especially if you've had one or two. You're gonna get some of it from the yeast and most of that comes from the charred oak. And depending on where they age in the warehouse, they're gonna age differently than, than a barrel sitting right next to them. We ended up picking six different bourbons to try. After thieving some bourbon out of each barrel, uh, they were taken into another room to be put in unlabeled bottles, so we just wouldn't know which was which. Then we went into the actual tasting room, which was this beautiful, restored uh, warehouse front that had a beautifully displayed flight of these blind bourbons that we just picked from the barrel. In a lot of ways sort of felt where like a, a jury from two centuries ago might deliberate an important case. The tasting room and the process at New Riff is so comfortable, it makes it a little easier to focus on what you're tasting. John from Wine Rack gave us a couple pointers. I'm evaluating each bourbon based on nose, palate, body and finish. And then I'll add just a couple of drops of water and see how that changes each bourbon. We have fun when we pick because I'm a bourbon guy, he's mainly a wine guy. I'll go through and I'll nose them probably for a good 20 or 30 minutes before I even take a sip. I certainly remember diving into the experience and taking my first sip of bourbon and being like, yeah, it's a good bourbon. Number two never appealed to me right off the bat, so that was an easy one to cut. I think everybody narrowed three and four out pretty quickly. I don't know, do anybody like three and four at all? I wouldn't crazy about three or four. Moving along to taste five, and I looked at it and I sniffed it, and I said, this is the one. I really didn't even need to taste after that. I was like, I'm done here, number five. But I said, well, we did pick a number six, and we should give it its run in the race. It wasn't until I went through them again and tasted them each with a, a drop or two of water that I knew that my favorite was six. The tones from that wood made the barrel what distillers like to call a honey barrel. 
and I think it came down to between one and six for me. I really lobbied hard for five. Number six just had, had the full package. So I think we all took our time, ate a lot of pretzels, and uh, eventually came the moment of decision. When it's such a fun experience overall, you're really looking for a consensus. We have a winner, ladies and gentlemen. The winner is what I affectionately call the Super Six. Right. The number six. Right. Yes. Cheers. Super Six. Cheers. 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 Let's face it, it's fun, but for me, it's also business. You know, it's my dollars going into it, and if we didn't find one that we just felt great about, they'd let us pick three, four more barrels. I think everybody's super happy with it. I know I am. I can't wait till we get the bottles uh, in store here and, and then we get to share it with everybody. You know, I guess I've done probably a hundred single barrel picks, and I don't know that I've tasted bourbon that young that is that good. They really gave us an opportunity to experience that for ourselves without a bunch of hand-holding, and I think I like that the best. We were really allowed to kind of go wild and enjoy it. Thanks to the Wine Rack, thanks to Jason for coming along for this one, and uh, certainly we hope to get to do it again. Let's go pick another barrel. Thank you.